And we take a break now, more local stories when we return. Welcome back to Primetime News. Blame the bus owners. Many bus drivers admitting this evening they drive recklessly, but insisting it's because they need to meet stringent daily cash targets. But even in the wake of the deadly minibus crash that killed five last week, authorities concede minibus drivers are difficult to manage. Giovanni Dennis has this Sunday primetime special report. A public transportation minibus overtaking a line of traffic, nothing unusual, though dangerous. A police team already overwhelmed ticketing other bus drivers allows this one to pass. We usually observe these miscreants from the outside, but on this morning, March 9, 2020, our team went undercover inside this very bus to gauge passenger reactions. Here's the moment the bus approaches the police checkpoint. But after a year and more than 500 road fatalities later, many minibus drivers continue to do anything except take time. Just last Monday, five people died and ten were seriously injured when a speeding minibus driver lost control on the PJ Patterson Highway. This follows years of similar incidents. We often hear from police and the transport authority. But now, the operators themselves explain this reckless road behavior. The boss won $20,000. And if you sit on another line the whole day, they're not going to make $20,000. You will skip the line too? Yeah, definitely. My office skip the line. And you break the road code when you drive sometimes? My office do it. I'm going to tell you, my office do it. Because I'm going to do it, I'm not going to make the money. And the most of you have to dig the road hard to find the boss 20 grand, so I'm more pressure that. And then after you find the boss 20 grand, if you still have to try and make something for yourself? Yes, I have to find gas oil 10 grand for gas oil, plus I have to try and find money for myself. So then you get like a flat pay from the boss no, then? No, get, a driver get all $4,000 for 20 grand, a doctor get 2 grand. You get me? But the road is sticky. Half of the bus, for instance, if the bus load, half of the bus will pay 50 Imagine that. Like who will pay 50 Passenger them, woman, man. What the ride fare? 100 dollars the ride fare. He admits it's dangerous. It's wicked. Wicked. More time I adopt them, I'm not like see. But we have to do it. Look, if we don't do it by any day, we go away and we go to the boss and the money shop. Man, I'm going to get fired. Some of the boss, them, this the man, them. Beat them. Some of the boss, them, beat the man, them. Some of them get fired. How you feel about it? Like when we see so the overtaking, we are going and all them things, though. How, how you feel when them, you don't feel afraid? Yeah, of course, I feel afraid. But most, but in the end of the day, we have to do it. Another driver argues otherwise. I just share greed, my boss. Share greed. One man will run 10 trips while you will run 2 and 3 trips. And they might run on the money, and the money are the problem. Enough. And for passengers, it's scary. You have to beat fast. You have to beat real fast. You say, God, I eat this, I don't eat this. Yet, many continue to drive in these minibuses. While me take the minibus, because it will in 18 people, and before you know it, it load. And you can go to your destination and do what you have to do. As you can see, I sell me, I sell. So I have to time to make little money. They also say safer options are limited. The drivers aren't fearful of tickets or the transport authority. In fact, according to this policeman, it's a daily cat and mouse game. He spoke on condition of anonymity. The racing, the loud music, the conductor hanging off outside. And once they pass, one of their colleagues heading the opposite direction and they know that the police is down the line, the black black the headlight, flash headlights, and then everybody just start adjust themselves. Once they pass where the police are, that's it again. It's not just police who find them difficult. I would say they are a challenging group to deal with. They are very unruly, uh, very indisciplined. Um, they only respond to pressure. So what kind of pressure will the drivers respond to? 
lock up the money, man, take with them license and dash them and dash them and fling them a bush, brother. Fling them a bush. Take with them license, take with them license, take with the bus license too, take with the bus license too. Make them revoke the bus license. Even so, our source in the JCF admits some lawmen are part of the problem. When you do stop, are you on it? Are you seizing it? They go and call John Brown, John Brown go and come up and say, I'm a friend, man, I'm a friend. Give me a blight. The Island Traffic Authority says 10 or more demerit points actually warrant the suspension of licenses. Um, I sad to say there are persons who have made up their mind that they are going to force us to have to enforce, ensure that that law is enforced. In 2018, Parliament passed a new, tougher road traffic act to replace the existing 1938 law. But three years later, it's still not in force. But even as the new law and better enforcement are promised... This trans transportation system is a... boy, a risk with their life. Serious, serious risk with their life. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.